Bom menina, outro programa de Já Sabra. A nós se sentar junto com o Conselho General de Merca, senhora Margie Bond. Margie está aqui na Ana Fori, aí eu passar. Não, é aí aqui, Januari, ele é com em casa, um aí, almost a year, já foi. Almost a year. Como é que agora nós passamos adiante do consulado aqui na Ana Jorge Raver? Nós vimos até a visa, mas não tem roupa, coisa, roupa, projeto, roupa, coisa que está envolvendo a nossa comunidade. E por isso nós estamos aqui agora com Margie, para Margie explicar nós quanto coisa está assim, quanto está envolvendo o nosso povo dentro do projeto e quanto coisa está assim para a comunidade. Margie, bem-vinda ao nosso programa Já Sabra. Obrigada. Tell me something, you almost one year here. Yes. How was your experience here in Curaçao for this year? Well, first of all, thank you for coming to Roosevelt House. I'm so pleased to host you here. And hello to all your viewers um, here and in the Dutch Caribbean. Um, I've been here, yes, almost a year. At the end of January, it will be a year. And this year has been incredible. It has been a beautiful year of friendship, of partnership, of learning, um, and just really enjoying this year and um, and trying to do some good things here and yes. to, together with the governments of the Dutch Caribbean. Yes. When okay. you arrived in Curaçao, um, did you visit, visit Curaçao before? I had never been here never. before. Mm -hmm. And what's, what's the impression? Beautiful. Just, yes. just, beautiful. just beautiful. Just beautiful. I love nature. I love um, the natural world. I love wildlife. I love the sea. I'm a scuba diver and okay. I started diving in the late 1980s in Saudi Arabia. Mm -hmm. And so when I came here, I hadn't been um, I hadn't been underwater in many, many years. So that was really special for me to be in a place where I could, you know, not just enjoy the beautiful environment and the land and the and Mount Cristofel and the parks, yeah. but also the undersea, yes. the undersea life as well. Terrific. It's beautiful. Yes. Uh, tell us something about all the projects you're doing here in the American Consulate for the community of Curaçao. Sure. Um, well, the consulate is involved in a number of areas, and the main areas that we work on are <clears throat> For, of course, one of the reasons we're here is to help American citizens overseas, mm -hmm. right? So that is one of our main responsibilities, and it's what Congress really wants to see us achieve, right? Taking care of Americans mm -hmm. overseas. And there are a lot of tourists in the region, over three million a year, and we're getting back to those numbers. So that's important. But we also have a lot of other priorities. One of the priorities that I'm sure your viewers know about um, is that we work very hard to cooperate with the Dutch Coast Guard and the local law enforcement authorities on countering narcotics trafficking and other forms yes. of illicit trafficking. We are very successful in this partnership and doing a lot of good to prevent these nefarious, illegal elements and materials from coming to these islands. Mm -hmm. So that is, we are very successful in that area through the partnership. Another area that we work on very closely is um, promoting U.S. businesses to invest in the islands. We want to see more U.S. investment here on Curaçao, but across the Dutch Caribbean. And we want to see that investment in areas that are important to the islands. So how to address the challenges of climate change, how to address the, the challenges of finding renewable and cleaner energy sources. So one of the things that we worked on this year is promoting an agreement between um, the government of Aruba, but also one is pending with the government of Curaçao for a deal with a U.S. company called Eagle to bring in liquefied natural gas to those two islands. Mm -hmm. And so that's an example of the kind of work that we're doing, bringing in U.S. investment, but not just any U.S. investment, U.S. investment that will further the interests and the economic prosperity and the, and the, the benefit of all, all the people here on the mm -hmm. islands. And then the third area that we are very, very excited about is our people-to-people -people, um, partnership. And we do a lot of different things, but people-to-people -people can mean cultural exchanges, it can mean scientific exchanges. Actually, I was just um, yesterday at the Sea Aquarium, and um, I met the Smithsonian researcher, Dr. Carol Baldwin, who is here, um, and she has a long partnership with, with Curaçao, um, trying to um, find solutions to the, the problems of climate change and how that affects the coral reefs. Um, so that's one example of the, the scientific exchanges. But we also do educational exchanges and exchanges between young professionals. So one of our premier programs is called the Young Leaders of the Americas Initiative. Yes, very interesting. Yes. Yes. And last year we had four, um, four people from the Dutch Caribbean who traveled to the United States to participate in these exchanges mm -hmm. where they are partnered with a local U.S. organization or a business and they are embedded in that organization or business and they, they share their experience experience and the business also 
teaches them yes. some of their uh, their ideas of how to promote their business, how to become on, you know expand their entrepreneurial ideas, making so we, that work. Yeah, so we had four of those last year. We'll have four more in the coming year. Coming year. Yeah. This, this is every year. Do we every do? year we have four four from the Dutch Caribbean every year. And so we're so proud of that program, and we could do an entire feature on that program with you yes, one day, yes. um, and invite some of our alumni. And we want to build a network of young, up-and-coming, entrepreneurial people from the Dutch Caribbean who are connected, not just within the Caribbean, but connected also to everybody who's doing this program in what the Western Hemisphere, all the way down to Brazil, Argentina, Peru, all the way up to Canada, and throughout the Western Hemisphere, mm -hmm. connecting those networks. Mm -hmm. And then finally, one of the other things I, I'm sorry, I'm talking so long. On this no, no question. problem. No, one of we the, love hearing yes, all these things because yes, it's important yes. for the people to know yes. what the yes, consulate yes, yeah, does here in Curacao. Yeah, it's more than visas. Yes. Um, the other thing that we're program we're so proud of and we're getting it off the ground and you're going to hear a lot more about it in January, so stay tuned. But we are going to be launching in the fall of 2023 an English immersion school and it's going to be launched with the San Antonio San Antonio San yes, Antonio school San Antonio San Antonio school yes. with the, the super tonitos little yes. kids and it's going to be beginning with a kindergarten two kindergarten classes which will be English immersion and they will then every year as they go through the curriculum they will follow will be English so the first year it'll be a kindergarten in English two classes mm -hmm. the next year it'll be kindergarten and first grade the year after will be kindergarten, so, first and second, and mm -hmm. little by little, the school will become an English immersion school mm -hmm. with a curriculum that we paid for, we designed with educational experts who know this island, who came here to understand the specifics of the island and the culture and the history and to be appropriate for the island. So it's not an American education curriculum that mm -hmm. has been supplanted, transplanted here. It's a curriculum designed specifically for Curacao that is being offered in English. So we are going to talk a lot more about that in January, but we wanted to get your viewers excited about it. Yes. So it's something we're really excited about. But yes. those are just some examples. Some, yes, yes. And there's more project you're doing because um, I, I, I can see in the paper, um, most of the time when there are visitors like uh, with the um, boats here, they're doing projects for schools, um, cleaning and making mm -hmm. um, some, some maintenance. Tell us about uh, something about sure. that. Sure. <laughs> It's very important to me that we are part of the community, that we are giving back to the people of Curacao, and we are always looking for ways to find volunteer opportunities, ways to help with cleanups, ways to participate. We don't want to sit here inside the walls of a consulate compound mm -hmm. by ourselves, you know, working to, with ourselves. We want to be out in the community and talking to people and meeting people and helping people as much as mm -hmm. we can. So one of the examples you just mentioned is we had, uh, we did a donation of school supplies to three schools uh, that we did it in cooperation with the, uh, the, the Ford operating location, okay, with yes, Colonel fall. Barta, the fall. It's now called the Cooperative Security Location, the mm -hmm. CSL. So we did it with them and um, we worked very closely with the Minister of Education and with San Antonio School Board, uh, the school system, and we identified a few other schools as well. Yes. And we talked to the teachers and asked them, what are the things you need? Um, is it calculators? Is it computers? Mm -hmm. You know what? It turned out to be art supplies, crafts, musical instruments, books. And so we did a big purchase of $10,000 in materials, and we donated it with the full to these three schools. And so that's an example. We've also yes. done some cleanups around the island. A, a, a lot. And um, painted, mm -hmm. we painted a community center. Mm -hmm. And I actually recently went out with Kunuku Man and his group. Yes. And um, helped with a cleanup. Mm -hmm. So we went, we'd love to hear about more opportunities where we can help. And if the people want you to help with something, can they make a wish? Sure. Mm -hmm. Yes, please contact us. Mm -hmm. Let us know. There's an opportunity where we'd love some volunteers. We would love people to come help with a project. And we can, you know, for us, it's an opportunity to give back and it's an opportunity for our team to get out of their ruts and to do something as a team and to go to a project. So yes. it's really important to us. And if we had more ideas and more opportunities, we would be very interested. So yes, people should tell us what would okay. be of interest to them. Okay. Yeah. And there's going to be a big construction. Yes. Tell us something about the construction and because in that construction also, the people of Curacao is involved. Yes, they are. Tell us something about they it. They are going to be involved. Well, the project is a new consulate compound 
<clears throat> and it is going to be a $250 million investment, uh, the total cost of the project, that's the estimate. It's going to be built next to Roosevelt House, so on this same site, next to, our, our, next to the house. The project is going to include a minimum of $50 million directly invested in Curaçao. Mm -hmm. It's going to generate as many as 300 jobs, and it's going to permanently, and permanently, once the project is complete, our consulate footprint, our staff at the consulate, will grow by two or three times. And it's not going to grow two or three times of Americans. It's going to grow two or three times with local hires. Okay. So what, after the completion of the project, there are going to be some permanent jobs, that, a, a huge increase in permanent jobs at the mm -hmm. consulate. So we're thrilled about the project. It's being designed by an award-winning architect, an American architectural firm called T Kieran Timberlake. And they won an a very prestigious award in the United States for architecture last year. They designed the U.S. Embassy in London. So this mm -hmm. is going to be a premier flagship consulate compound that is going to be represent you know our relationship to the next 200 years. Mm -hmm. You know we've been here for many many years, yes. and we want to be here for many years, and we want to expand our offer and our partnership, and I think the consulate is going to be an incredible symbol of mm -hmm. what our commitment is here in the Dutch Caribbean. Mm -hmm. One thing I want your viewers to know if they want to get involved in the project is that on January 10th at the Renaissance Hotel is going to be an open house at January 10th at 1045, um, excuse me, at 245, and it's going to be an opportunity for anybody here who is interested, who is, comes from the construction industry, engineers, builders, to come to that event, to network at that event, and meet those people who are bidding on the project. Because once the bid, so in January they're going to be, there's going to be a bid conference. And after that, a bidder will be selected. But the person who's selected for the contract will have to have a lot of subcontracts, a lot of other people. And they'll be networking at this event on January 10th to, to identify people to work with. So mm -hmm. it's in our press release that we sent out last Friday. And there's an RSVP email address to, to, for people to respond to if they'd like to yes. come to that event on January 10th. Okay. And we want people from Curacao to get these jobs. Okay. And do you have an estimate date when the constructions are going to start? The preparatory work for the site, the site prep work, is probably going to start at the, probably September of next mm -hmm. year. And the whole project is going to take probably three to four or five years, depending it's on... It's so long. It's yes, long. That's, that's big. It's big. It's a big project. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be beautiful. It is being designed with the most state-of-the-art materials. It's being designed with a nod to uh, recognizing we're at a UNESCO heritage site. Mm -hmm. And so the materials are going to really re incorporate the colors of the sand and the coral and, and nature here. Mm -hmm. It's going to have these beautiful photovoltaic panels, like sort of wings on the sides mm -hmm. of the building, that are going to shift with the light. And that's where the color is going to come from. The light, it's going to create sort of a rainbow effect as the, as the sun passes over during the day. Mm -hmm. And that's going to pick up the colors that we think of with Willemstad. Okay. So it's going to be Perfect. beautiful. Yes. And it's going to be very open, huge open spaces, big meeting rooms, big places for us to host um, events, cultural activities. And it's going to be a place we can invite people in, which is something that's not, our buildings here aren't quite fit for purpose for that. Mm -hmm for that kind of open, act, um, mm -hmm. inviting people in for events. Mm -hmm. So we're excited about how open it's going to be, how beautiful it's going to be, and really how respectful of the local environment and the local culture. Yes. What else can we expect from the consulate for this year, for the next year, 2023? There's something yeah. new in mind? Wow, I think, I've, I think I kind of gave you a little preview. Yeah, you gave me a lot, yes, but maybe we have something yes. new, I don't know. Yes, um, well, the English Immersion School is something we're really, really excited That's a big about. One. That, is, that is really one of our main activities mm -hmm. that we're, we're hoping to promote. Um, another idea that is something that I'm, again, this is not something I've really fully vetted with my team, but I do talk to people a lot in the consulate and, with, and also talk to people that I meet in Curacao, is, is there more that we could be doing to promote interest and investment in the orange economy. I'm a, a big, big fan of Curacao. You, people in Curacao just, and the islands, have a talent, have a gift, and there's something very unique here in the arts and the music and the creativity. And I just think, is there a way to be more involved in the orange economy? And so that's something I'm thinking about. 
And then again, also continuing to look for opportunities for U.S. investment here. Yes. Those are some of the things we're looking at. So nice. Yeah. Yes. And we have some dominoes here. Yes, it, we do. It, yeah. It, it, I, I was wondering what it is. It's a project you have? Yes. So when I first arrived, th these dominoes represent my dominoes friendship. So when first arriving in the islands, my team knew that I care a lot about relationships. It's, I'm not a transactional person. I don't want to come and just give me this and I'll give you this and let's exchange what we need. I want to know people. I want to have a relationship and have a friendship. Mm -hmm. And what we decided is what better way to know people than through a game. And a game that is so dear to the people of the Dutch Caribbean, which is dominoes. Mm -hmm. So we decided to start a dominoes friendship. And every meeting I have, I've been exchanging, uh, giving a gift of dominoes to the person I'm meeting and inviting them that in the future, I would love to invite you for a game of dominoes. Yes. And, um, and it's been working. It's been really fun. Uh, we had a tournament for our July 4th, uh, our July 4th reception. Uh -huh. We had a dominoes tournament. Okay. And we had eight, eight tables. So we had 16 teams mm -hmm. and we raised money for a charity. Um, I've played dominoes with opinion leaders. I've played dominoes. You play with, domino? Yes. Yes. I'm playing. <laughs> no I zapato? Um, I haven't had a zapato, but <laughs> I'm working on it. Okay. But I have learned, you know, for me, the dominoes game has really taught me a lot and uh -huh. it's helped me understand more about the people of Curacao. And it's also, it's a game that when I first came, it's, it kind of is a, para, a, a, a metaphor for what it's like to come to a new place. Mm -hmm. When I first thought, this is a very simple game. There's no strategy. It's just matching. Just match, yes, yeah, just match. So that's sort of when you first come to a country, you don't have any idea of what's <laughs> underneath. You're just like, oh, this is simple. It's clear. Yes. Little by little during the year, I've had some very good teachers who said, explain, <laughs> no, you got to be counting. Yes. There's only six of each of these. Mm -hmm. You got to figure out what your partner's feeding mm -hmm. you, what he's asking for you. Mm -hmm. Try to feed that to your partner. Mm -hmm. So I understand now how much strategy there is and how. Yeah, it's it's a fantastic game. Yes. I love it, and I we've had we have several dominoes tables that we have built mm -hmm. that the consulate is all playing, and um, and it's a beautiful game. It's yes. a way to know people. It's it's inclusive. People, old people play it, young people, women, men, rich, poor. It's a very inclusive game, and it's it's just a lot of fun. Yes. So I've been really enjoying this dominoes friendship, this domino. and we're going to carry it on through the rest of my time here. So if you would like to play dominoes yeah, for in sure. the future. For sure. Yes. Yes. And I wanted to invite you to choose a set of dominoes yes. to take with you today. Mm -hmm. The purple one is pretty. Okay, then. Mm -hmm. That's a Curacao one, so yes. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. That's for you then. Thank you. Thank you so much. Nice. Very and with the flag of Curacao and the yes. flag of the USA. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Margie, it was a Stad. pleasure. Yes. With um, William, the fachada of William Stutz. Handel Scado. Very nice. And Margie, it was a pleasure talking to you. Maybe you can uh, give a wish, uh, yes. make a wish, give a wish, tell the people yeah. something. Yes. <laughs> I would just like to say to your viewers, to those here on Curacao and in the Dutch Caribbean, Masha Danki, it has been an incredible year. I'm so excited about my future two years, maybe more, here on the islands. And I want to wish you all Bon Pascu, Feliz Ano, ano Novo, and I hope however you're spending your holidays, it's with your friends, your loved ones, and it's a season full of blessings and good health. Masha Danki, thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Nos vemos acá para seguir otro programa. Hoy nos está con Margie Bond, el consulado general aquí en nos está en Roosevelt House, que es un lugar más bonito. No solo que vamos a mirar más o menos como Roosevelt House está también. Thank you para seguirnos y te próximo programa. <música>